What was the worst, most damaging, way you took revenge? I was playing follow the leader with my best friend in kindergarten. He was the leader and ran up the slide, we weren't supposed to run up the slide, but we were five years old and could make our own decisions. I followed him, but the teacher saw me and told me to sit down on the pavement until recess was over. So I told her that my friend went up at first and I just followed. The teacher called him over and asked if what I said was true, to which he said no, so then I told him we weren't friends until he said sorry. That showed him. He said sorry, and then we played Tony Hawk on his N64 after school. My little brother was a cunt. My parents got him a cat for his birthday. I could never have even dreamt of such a thing for myself. I made the cat love me more than it loved him. Do not fuck with me. A neighbor who I never met accused me of trying to stab her dog through a double fence this winter. They have a wooden six-foot stockade fence surrounded by a four-foot chain-link fence. The dog was injured on something in their backyard and required several stitches which resulted in a large vet bill that they couldn't afford. They concocted the story that their animal-hating neighbor did this and began a fundraiser and raised quite a sum of money, way more than the bill was. I had no idea about this whole drama until a friend in the police department told me of what this wacko was accusing me of. So once I found out, I requested a copy of the police report where the neighbor stated that the dog was hurt in their yard, there wasn't any blood or human footprints near the fence etc etc, and I posted it to the fundraising site. She lost friends and reputation for $400. Not exactly the worst revenge, but I think it's funny. My ex-mother-in-law was one of those a wife serves her husband and does everything kind of people. She always criticized me. My housework, the meals I cooked etc. I decided to get even by filling a sock with the dust from my vacuum canister. Every day I'd stop by her house and take a moment to shake the sock around her house. It left dust everywhere. The floors were the easiest. Everyone's socks would get dirty from walking around. Her husband was noticing she wasn't doing her duty. The best was when I went and shook dust all over her couch pillows and returned that night. I made a show of flopping down on the couch from being so exhausted from work. Dust went everywhere. Her husband was like what the hell, don't you ever vacuum? This is brilliant. I imagine you shaking and swinging your sock full of dust like a priest with a branch sprinkling holy water. Bless this carpet with vengeance. This is my dad's story from when he was a kid. He was walking down the road one day when a bunch of kids in their late teens pulled up in a car and sprayed him with a fire extinguisher. He blew it off as a joke and thought it was pretty funny. Five minutes later the same kids circle around and spray him a second time. This time my dad took note of the license plate number make and model of the car and proceeded to track it down and find out where the kid lived. That night he went to the kid's house and threw a fire extinguisher through the car's windshield. Justice was served. I screen-capped photos from my wife's lover's Facebook and sent them to the school administration because he was a teacher and posting pics of your students' tests and making fun of them is not cool at all. He was fired at the end of the year. Edit, after his dismissal, I divorced her and got her removed from her position at a daycare because it was a church-based facility with morality clauses for employment. All it took was a conversation with the pastor, and she was phased out at the first available opportunity. A buddy of mine insulted me, so I got him drunk, took him down to the family catacombs, chained him to a wall inside an alcove, and bricked up the front of the alcove. No regrets. So everyone has heard of the classic X-Lax and the brownies trick right? Well my buddy pulled that weak sauce on me about a week ago, so I pulled this little ditty on him to show him just how much more worse it can get. So there is this awesome weight loss drug called Ali, which works by turning off the enzymes that digest ingested fats, so instead of being absorbed through the gut they are instead passed right through the GI tract. Well I took said buddy out to a truce dinner at the local Asian buffet, pretty much fat covered fat in fat, and slipped him a dose mid-meal. The amount of raw sludge that has dripped, sloshed, 
and exploded out of that undeserving slash deserving asshole is more revenge than I could ever hope for. I worked in an office once, and the boss was a real prick. If you used any of your sick days, he would hold that against you at your yearly review, but if he was sick at all, or even just felt like it, he would stay home or go golfing. Well, there was a terrible flu going around. I was sick, a co-worker was sick and throwing up in his trash bin, but none of us were allowed to leave. So when my boss went home super early, again, I went into his office and coughed and sneezed all over his mouse and keyboard. He got really sick a day later. In sixth grade, some kid made a snide remark in class about my name, and the whole class laughed. I saw him in the hallway carrying books the next day, so I kicked the back of his knee. The sound of teeth on linoleum still fills the spaces between my thoughts. When my grandparents were younger they lived in flats and the woman in the flat below them, nearest to the postbox, would always read their letters, my granddad knew because he could tell that she was resealing the glue over her kettle. So one day he decided to send a letter to himself, but include a black hair of my nan's, the woman having the same colored hair would pick it out thinking it was hers. However, with this he also included a note saying stop reading our letters you nosy, my granddad's a rather blunt guy, needless to say their post was never opened again, and he never received that letter back. I changed a battery for a guy I can't stand, so I didn't connect the auxiliary pack before I removed the battery from his car. So his clock and radio stations all got reset. <laughs>